Right. Uh, so some of you also have been asking me what's the difference between uh, the smudge brush and the colorless ones. All right. For example, these are the colorless. Uh, here it is. Colorless web brush. Uh, we have colorless angular brush. We also have colorless soft flat brush. We also have colorless soft round brush and also uh, colorless marker and colorless soft brush. We have here a smudge, smudge web brush and here we have colorless web brush. You understanding that? So just continue to go with that. So smudge flat brush three, we have smudge cost angular brush and we have smudge flat bristle brush three. Uh, we have smudge round, so, um, smudge soft round brush, and also so, smudge soft round brush too, and we have smudge round bristle brush that many people are used to, and we have smudge coarse round brush, and also smudge soft flash flat rather brush. All right, so to know the differences on these two, um, for example. Let me do something. Um, just let me use my paint brush. All right, I want to use my paint brush to do something like this. All right, let's see. I want space to be all right. So let's use this my colorless brush. For example, I can choose to use any of them. Maybe colorless soft brush. Let's see. In between, you can see those lines. Can you see? You can still see those lines. Likewise, if you choose any other tool, remember it's not even at hundred percent. Even if I should put it at hundred percent strength and hundred percent flow, look at what happens. Still, you can still see even those lines there. Is that okay? Even if you choose another tool, it's still the same. All right, just that they work in different ways. All right, this one I see if you are using it for hair detailing, but you need to know something now. Let me rub this, and if I come to another place and put it there, it will be here. So you can as well use it to uh, take color and as well you draw maybe hair strands in another place. Do you understand me? All right. So if you as well take it for uh, take white color and put it on another place, it will also have effect. Is that okay? So they both have effect on themselves. Is that okay? As you are putting it on the white, it's also putting white on the black and black on white. Do you understand that? All right. So let me draw again. Now let's come to our smudge brush. Uh, let me come with this smudge round bristle brush that many people do know. Now let me come to my 100% opacity and flow 100% like you see in the other one also. Can you see this? It clears it totally. Oh my god. Can you see it? So I can actually use it to clear this. Can you see? Oh my god. So I, I finally use it to clear away the color. Can you see the power of smudge round bristle brush? It's cleans totally but as well i can use it to you know manipulate some things through do you see this all right now uh you can edit the strength uh to maybe three or uh, any number of your satisfaction two and the flow to be at even maybe nine now check the differences let me increase the size can you see but you know that one uh the colorless it's actually <clears throat> just putting it there just let me draw it again so that we can see what i'm talking about now let us use colorless on this and let's see even at 100 percent for colorless all right let's see what it's gonna do for us can you see this good reason because that is what it is now i can choose to use another Okay, let me do the size and uh, flow. Can you see another effect? Good. So for all, so but smudge brush, it won't behave that way. It will actually smudge and uh, make your work clean. Do you understand me now? So that's just the usefulness of the smudge brush and the colorless. Those are the differences. So you can as well use your colorless brush, for example, on cloth. On clothes, some clothes has many 
details and you want to make it clean and at the same time you want the detail to be there so you can use your colorless brush all right your colorless brush you can use it on them and i tell you to make your work perfect it's going to do it for you perfectly but remember i'm not asking you to put everything on 100 percent just edit it to your own satisfaction is that okay so i hope you'll not be having problem with clothes that are having many details many colors on it you just use your uh, your colorless brush on it and it will be fine all right so guys thanks you for watching this tutorial i hope it is very very useful and please consider subscribing to this youtube channel share this youtube links in as much as it is helpful to you god bless you as you do so